this video we're going to look at energy transfer diagrams or sometimes these are known as Sankey diagrams so if you ever want to do a little bit extra revision and you're googling online and you want to find extra kind of worksheets or whatever or notes on it type into google Sankey diagrams and you'll find lots so up until now we've been talking about the different types of energy and we've been talking about energy transfers so if we have a light bulb for example and electric energy goes into that light bulb energy cannot be created or destroyed so it will come out in some form or another so it will come out as light and heat and we found that the unit or we found out that the unit of energy was joules so we might put in 100 joules and 20 of those joules might come out as light 80 joules might come out as heat because what goes in must come out the law of conservation of energy now the problem is not everyone is as good a drawer as me. Everyone can't draw these kind of fantastic light bulbs that I can draw or fantastic televisions or cars or whatever else needs to be drawn. So for this reason, scientists came up with a special way or a different way to draw this or to represent this information. And they call them energy transfer diagrams or Sankey diagrams. So let's have a look at an example of how you do one. So here's a question. We have an inefficient light bulb. Now remember, efficiency means how good something is at its job. So this light bulb is inefficient, and that means it's not very good at its job. The input energy is 10 joules. The useful output energy is light, is four joules. And the wasted energy is six joules. Draw a Sankey diagram to show the energy change for this light bulb. So, these Sankey diagrams, basically, usually what you try and do is you try and do them on graph paper or gridded paper. And if you can't use graph paper or gridded paper, you're supposed to use a ruler, but really they should give you graph paper in the exam. And what you do is you have to set a scale. So if we look here, we have boxes and our input energy is 10 joules, which is nice and convenient or a nice and convenient number. So I'm going to say that one box equals one joule. Well, if I have 10 joules going in, that means 10 boxes would be 10 joules. Now, what do I mean by that? What I'm going to do is I'm going to count out 10 boxes. So we start here, one, down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we stop here. And what we say is that this is the amount of energy that's going in. And how you draw it is, and it's best to draw this in some pencil, really, really light, is we just draw a little arrow saying our input energy goes from there to there okay now that's our arrow with the energy going in but well, you're going to see why i have these lines here and what i'm going to do with them now this is all the energy going in and it's moving along and what we do then is we say that any useful energy or this is going to split into two sections and useful energy will continue to move forward in an arrow and wasted energy will move to the side so our useful energy is four joules so that's four boxes so what i do is i continue my arrow on on the top and i count down four boxes one two three four and i stop and i say right well that's my useful energy four boxes and i draw an arrow at the end now if useful energy is four boxes and wasted energy is six boxes i should have six left so one two three four five six yeah and what you do then is you draw with this energy, you actually draw a line or an arrow going to the side. And the whole idea is that the width of this arrow, this distance from here to here, and this distance from here to here, represents how much energy is wasted or useful. The last thing you'd need to do to get good marks with an energy transfer diagram is label it. And it's really, really important that you do that. So this is four joules light energy. This arrow represents six joules wasted. They didn't tell us what it was wasted as, but it's obviously heat, or did they, oh, they did, sorry, wasted heat energy. And this is our energy in, our energy input, 10 joules. Now what they'll most likely do is they might give you one of these and ask you to answer questions on it, which is what I'll do as part of your homework. But it's really, really uh, 
good if you're able to draw it because they could ask you to draw it as well. So let's do one more example, slightly trickier example, and hopefully then you'll be able to try a couple yourselves. So now we have a candle and the input energy is 200 joules. The useful energy is 140 and the sound wasted energy is sound is 60 joules. Well, let's try and stick to having 10 boxes. So let's say our input energy is 10 boxes and that's 200 joules. That means one box would be 200 divided by 10 is 20 joules. So I'll count out 10 boxes again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now we kind of try and draw our arrow in. And these are tricky, so don't worry if you don't get these at the start. They're tricky to draw. It takes a bit of practice. But I'll give you some to practice. There's our arrow in. Now remember, useful energy goes straight forward. So this time we have 140 joules of useful energy. So 140 joules is useful. Now how many boxes would that be? Well, if one box is 20 joules, if we divide this by 20, we'll get seven. So that would be seven kind of boxes on our diagram. So I'm going to count down seven. One, two, four, five, six, seven. And that's what our arrow is going to be like. It's going to be something like that. Remember the width of the arrow represents how much energy it is. So then the rest of it, the next one, two, three boxes is obviously our wasted energy. And it doesn't matter how kind of long you draw this in different directions. It's just a sketch. This will be our wasted energy. Now, the reason they do this is because when you look at this straight away, you can see yet more of the energy is useful because this arrow here is much thicker than is wasted. Whereas when you go back to the last one, you can see that there's a lot of energy wasted here that more than half, just by looking at it, more than half looks like it's wasted compared to useful. Useful energy, remember, always goes forward. Wasted energy goes to the side. So last thing we need to do here, of course, is we need to label it. Otherwise, we wouldn't get full marks. So I'm just going to put energy in 200 joules. This is heat. 140 joules and really I should write useful there as well shouldn't I although because the arrow is going forward we know it's useful and this is wasted energy which was sound wasted sound energy 60 joules so that's a brief summary on how to draw Sankey diagrams and hopefully from this you can see how to read them as well